Hey guys, right here I have a 2015 Audi A3 Cabriolet 2-litre TDI S-Line. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously and to roll them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. As simple as that. The windows dip down a little bit to clear the door frame. And this car does have frameless windows. This A3 Cabriolet does have a 6-speed manual. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded in. Upon turning on the ignition, the side mirrors automatically folds out. And upon locking the car, the side mirrors automatically folds in again. To start the A3 Cabriolet, put your foot on the clutch, insert the key into the slot right here, and twist the key like you would in a normal car. Like the rest of the current A3 lineup, the A3 Cabriolet gets a rack and pinion electric power steering system. The leather-wrapped, flat-bottom steering wheel in this car is specific to the S-Line trim and it features sport grips at the 10, 2, 4 and 8 o'clock positions, cream stitching going around the inner rim, perforated sections on the sides, and S-Line badging on the bottom spoke. Two transmissions are available for the 148 horsepower 2-litre TDI engine. The first is a 6-speed manual as seen in this car, and the second is an optional 6-speed Astronic Dual Clutch Transmission. To engage reverse for the manual transmission, push the gear lever down all the way to the left and up. This particular A3 is equipped with the Comfort Package which brings rear parking sensors as standard among other things. The base of the gear lever is covered in leather with the cream stitching, while the gear knob is covered in perforated leather. Audi's Drive Select driving modes is standard on the S-Line trim, with 5 modes to choose from. Efficiency adapts the engine, the steering and the climate control to perform more efficiently in daily driving. Comfort tunes the car for a more pleasant ride, which is useful especially on longer journeys. Auto is the default mode with no changes to the settings. When a sportier drive is needed, dynamic mode is selected and the steering becomes tighter while the engine becomes more responsive. The last mode, individual, allows drivers to configure the engine and the steering settings to their liking. 
Safety features standard on the A3 Cabriolet includes 7 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, anti-skid regulation, electronic stability control, electronic differential lock, adaptive brake lights, active rollover protection system, secondary collision brake assist, tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system with immobilizer and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. Let's go ahead and turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. For the S-Line trim, 18-inch 5 parallel spoke partly polished alloy rims wrapped in 22540R18 tyres are standard. Ventilated disc brakes and solid disc brakes are present front and rear. The suspension gets McPherson struts in front and a multi-link setup at the back. A sports suspension is standard with the ride being lowered by 15mm. In 1996, Audi debuted the first generation A3 also known by the Type 8L code name. Originally available as only a 3-door hatchback, a 5-door hatchback was added in 1999 to boost practicality. For the second generation Type 8P A3 which was available between 2003 and 2012, Audi marketed the 5-door as the Sportback and added a cabriolet body style in 2008 when the facelift for the Type 8P was unveiled. The A3 Cabriolet received an all-new model in 2013, this time round it is based on the 3rd generation Type 8 V A3. This A3 Cabriolet uses a 2.0-litre dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbo diesel inline 4 engine with common rail direct injection. This engine produces 148 horsepower between 3500 and 4000 rpm and 340 newton meters of torque between 1750 and 3000 rpm. With the manual transmission, 0 to 62 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 8.9 seconds and the top speed is 139 miles per hour or 224 kilometers per hour. With a 50 liter fuel tank, combined fuel consumption for the A3 Cabriolet 2 liter TDI 150 manual on 18 inch wheels is 64.2 miles per gallon or 4.4 liters per 100 kilometers. 115 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometer, and this A3 Cabriolet is front wheel drive. The second generation A3 Cabriolet first went on sale in the UK in 2014. Currently, there are three trim levels available, the base SE, the mid-range Sport, and the range topping S-Line. Petrol engine choices include a 1.4 TFSI, a 1.8 TFSI, and the S3 Cabriolet's 2.0-litre TFSI. On the diesel side, there is the 1.6 TDI and the 2.0-litre TDI with either 148 or 181 horsepower. Depending on the engine, manual or astronic transmissions can be chosen as is front-wheel drive or quattro all-wheel drive. 
Exterior features of the A3 Cabriolet S line includes automatic auto-leveling by xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED rear lights, LED rear indicators, LED rear number plate lights, front and rear fog lights, rear parking sensors, headlight washer system, indicators on the side mirrors, body colored door handles and side mirrors, high gloss black finish for the front fog light surrounds and grille slats, S-line badging on the front fenders, S-line body styling kit, and dual chrome exhaust pipes. You do have your speaker down there together with a bottle holder and some storage. Right here you do have your mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. And this lever right here actually allows you to roll up or roll down all the windows at once. You do have your central locking buttons right next to the interior door handle on the driver's side. Right here, push this button out to reveal a knob that allows you to adjust the brightness of the interior at night. S-line door sills. And the driver's seat in this A3 Cabriolet S-line does get full manual adjustments. This knob controls your seat back, this lever controls your seat height, this lever controls your seat inclination, that lever down there controls your seat position, and you do have tie support adjusted via this lever right here. You also do have a bit of under seat storage for the driver's side. Gain access to the back, locate this lever, pull it, flip the seat back forward and move the whole seat forward. And you do have the S-line badging on the front seat backs as well. All right. So let's go ahead and see how she revs.
The A3 Cabriolet S line does come standard with a dual zone automatic climate control system with all of the controls located down here. It is quite simple to use. You do have your fan speed, different modes, driver side temperature with your air conditioning button, front and rear defrost, recirculation and your passenger side temperature with your automatic button. You also do have three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. You do have a couple of cup holders down here together with some storage and a power outlet. Right up here, this button allows you to turn on or off the vehicle's auto start stop system. If you do have the system activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. Right here, you do have the button to turn off the vehicle's traction control system. Right here, you do have the button that allows you to retract the display back into the dashboard if you did not want the display jutting out like that. And right here, you do have your drive select button as shown earlier. This A3 Cabriolet does have an integrated head unit that features a 5.8 inch color display, various media connectivity options, SD card based navigation, and 8 speakers for the sound system producing 80 watts of power. I must say, for a stock sound system, the speakers in the A3 Cabriolet do sound quite good. The 5.8 inch display right above is actually controlled using a set of controls located down the center console. You do have your two toggle switches, the one on the left if you flick up goes to navigation and if you flick down it goes to telephone. The one on the right if you flick up goes to radio and if you flick down it goes to media. You also do have this knob in the middle that scrolls to the left, scrolls to the right and clicks down for enter. And in traditional Audi MMI fashion, you do have your 4 quadrant buttons which corresponds to the 4 quadrant options on the display itself. You also do have your menu and your back buttons right here. And right here, you do have your volume and power knob. It also doubles up as your seat track buttons by clicking the knob to the left or to the right. We are currently in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu with your current song playing information. You do have the title, artist, album, and song duration. If you want to go to functions, hit the bottom left button. And right here, you can play pause, fast forward, rewind, go back a song, and go forward a song. To go back, hit the back button. And to access your different media source, hit the top right button. Right here, you do have your Bluetooth audio streaming, CD, SD card, as well as your Audi music interface. Your Audi music interface is basically a port that is located under the center armrest in front and for that port you can purchase several cables from Audi and on the other end of that cable can either be your USB port, your auxiliary port or your iPod connectivity. For settings, hit the bottom right button. Right here, you can access your sound settings with your bass treble, balance and fader, your gala settings and your various system sound settings. You do have your input level, Bluetooth settings and your random selection of tracks. Now to go back to the main menu, you can either hit the menu button straight away or you can hit the back button twice. Next up, we do have radio and under radio, you can access your FM, AM and DAB digital radio menus. Under those menus, you can look at your list of available radio stations in the area, perform a manual tuning search and all that. If you go to tone, it's basically your sound system settings again. For car, you do have your Audi drive select as shown earlier. For your system settings, hit the bottom left button. And right here, you can bring up your vehicle settings with your steering wheel button which is this one you can configure it to whatever function you want it to do you can also set your lights locks and all that 
your driver assist settings with your speed warning, parking sensors, automatic wipers and all that. Your air conditioning settings and your service information with your tyre pressure monitoring system, service indicators, chassis number and the number of initialized keys. Next up we do have telephone and right here you can look at your call list, bring up your phone book, look at your favourites, dial a number and all that. You can even um, listen to your mailbox just by hitting the bottom left button. For settings, hit the bottom right button and right here you can bring up your telephone settings and your Bluetooth settings. Navigation, right here we do have your maps. In your maps, if you use the knob, if you scroll left and right, you can actually zoom in and out of the map. And if you click the knob down, you actually bring up your interactive map. You also have various other map options. And to exit this menu, just hit the um, return button. To enter your twirl mode, hit the top left button. And right here, you can basically set several different destinations in that particular order that you want to go to and the system will bring you um, in that particular order. For traffic, hit the top right button. And right here, you do have a list of your traffic information. For destination, hit the bottom left button. Right here, you can enter an address, look at your directory, look at your favourites view the map, start your guidance, look at your points of interest, last destinations and all that. For settings, hit the bottom right button. Right here, you can set your route criteria, map colors, map type, map content, and all that. Now back to the main menu, there are two um, menus right above. If you hit the top left button, you can bring up your time settings where you can set your time, your date and all that. For setup, hit the top right button. Right here, you can set your language, units, brightness, restore the system back to factory settings, perform an update and all that. And that's about it. Electronic central locking. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. This car also does have heated side mirrors. On the steering wheel, the right spoke houses your audio controls with your volume wheel. Click the wheel down to mute the system. You do have your configurable button right here as shown earlier. You can configure this button to perform whatever function you want it to do. Right now, it is configured to whether the voice guidance for the navigation is turned on or off. If you press this button, it um, repeats your previous navigation guidance instruction. And right here, you do have your voice control button. On the left spoke, you do have your multi-information display controls. Use the left and right arrows to go through the different main menus. Use the wheel to go through the different sub-menus. Click the wheel down to select the particular option. And hit this button to bring up the list of options for that particular sub-menu. Right now, you do have your driving data with your range, date, elapsed time, average fuel consumption, average speed, distance traveled, instant fuel consumption, and the same set of data just for trip B instead. Within that display, right above, you do have your start-stop indicator. 
you also do have your start stop indicator at the bottom left and right at the top you do have your audio information below the driving data you do have your mileage and trip meter and on the bottom right you do have your outside temperature click the options button and you can go to your efficiency program bring up your digital speedometer with your driving data down below and bring up your reduced display which basically reduces your display to just the bottom um, row next up we do have your audio information if you click the options button you can go between your different sources your Bluetooth telephone menu right here if you click the options button you can go between your phone book or your call list and right here you do have your navigation menu if you do have your navigation active instead of the compass your navigation guidance will be shown right there but you can also go to your driving data down below hit the options button and you can go between your compass voice guidance on or off and go to your home address and that's about it on the right stall you do have your wiper controls and on the left stall you do have your indicator controls on the bottom left stall you do have your cruise control The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. The A3 Cabriolet does come standard with an electronic parking brake. The lever is located right here. The parking brake is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. And right here, you do have your roof control. Pull back on the lever to lower the roof and push down to raise the roof back up. Adjustable center armrest. With storage down below. And as mentioned earlier on, you do have your Audi music interface port right in there. Auto dimming rear view mirror and you do have your interior lights right above sun visor for the driver side does get a vanity mirror and a light Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
gain access to the boot, go towards the boot lid itself and locate a touch pad right underneath the Audi badge. Boot space in the A3 Cabriolet with the rear seat bags in place is 320 litres. Fold down the rear seat bags using the levers on either side of the boot and the boot space expands to 678 litres. There is a cargo separator that needs to be put in place in order for the roof to fold back. On both sides of the boot there are hooks to hang items on. To the right there is an LED light that illuminates the area, a cargo net and a power outlet. Underneath the boot floor, you can find the vehicle's spare tyre and jack. You do get your window control right there with some storage down below together with a speaker. The front passenger seat does get full manual adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side. It is the same method to get into the back on this side, locate this lever, pull it, Flip the seat back forward and move the whole seat forward. I did set the front passenger seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the front passenger seat. I do get about this much leg room and about this much head room. It is actually not that bad back here compared to other 4 seater convertibles with the roof up. But obviously with the roof down, you do have unlimited headroom. You do get cutouts on the front seat backs that help with a bit of legroom. You also do get storage pockets on the front seat backs. Rear aircon vents, power outlet, three cup holders, and you do get speakers on either sides.
lockable glove box. It is of a nice size. You do have your CD player and a couple of SD card slots right in here. Sun visor for the front passenger does get a vanity mirror and a light as well. And you do have a storage pocket down there. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2015. Audi A3 Cabriolet 2 litre TDI S-Line Thanks for watching and goodbye